Eve. Hello, everybody. Um, it's Christmas Eve, and it's that time of the year, a very special year of reflection, um, of grand tidings and blessings, and full of lessons. What an incredible year it's been. Holy shit. What lessons I've learned, what things we've been through, what tough times we've overcome collectively with COVID and individually. It's very crazy. Um, I want to talk about the movie, It's a Wonderful Life. Um, it's a good time to watch movies, right, at Christmas. Um, I got really lucky. The cinemas have reopened near where I am, and um, just this week, and they did a, a, a cinema release of It's a Wonderful Life, so, and I love that film, um, and I rewatched it, but I don't know, many times, and today I rewatched it, and it it's really a powerful movie, man. Movies are so powerful to change your life and transform them if you watch the right movie. They really are. They can really impact you in, in many incredible ways and teach you lessons and remind you of your power and divinity and all the good things about yourself. And that movie, It's a Wonderful Life, is a great reminder. I love it. That, I love it that it's a classic and people watch it a lot and it comes up every Christmas. And many people, many of you guys have seen it. Because I'll tell you what, when I watched it, I cried and I cried and I cried, man. Like, I couldn't stop crying at certain points. Like, Jesus, what a life. Um... You know, I'm sure you guys know the story, George Bailey, um, what an amazing person. And um, he got in a situation where one of his business partners lost a load of money and he was going to get taken to prison and he thought he'd check out early. He thought he'd kill himself. So a guardian angel was sent from above to stop him from killing himself. And then the guardian angel makes him see what his life would be like, if what life would be like in the town. If he didn't exist in this world, yeah, if George Bailey didn't exist, what would life be like? Um, and it would suck. It would be completely transformed. Many people's lives were benefited by one person's existence. And whilst I was watching it, I thought about myself. And I thought, and I know you guys are the same. I, lo I know a lot of you have had suicidal thoughts. And you've. I know for a fact all of us have been through some real tough shit, man. Some real dark shit. And I thought, if I checked out early... Um, if I checked out early in my life, what would, what would people have been missing out from if I'd gone? A lot. Because the fact I decided to stay here and choose the fight, and it was hard, man. It was a, real hard to, to, to accept the fight and to, to choose to stay here and to fix my brain, yeah, from negativity to positivity and to learn to give value. It was fucking hard. But I'll tell you what, a lot of people have benefited from my existence and my choice to not check out early and it would have really ruined not only my family but all the people it just doesn't ruin your family when you kill yourself and your friends it ruins all the people that you would never have met in the future that have benefited from the relationships and friendships you've developed now as the awesome person that you are yeah all those people and that's what showed in the movie it's not just your family and friends being devastated because you've gone it's all the amazing because you on your journey and climb up have developed a personality, a structure from negativity to positivity, from desperation and corruption, hatred of humanity to love of humanity, all those things that you've learned to offer value. Think of the lives. This goes really deep. It's like paying it forward. It's so hard to comprehend how many lives you can actually impact, how many people's lives you've impacted. But like if there was a movie just like in It's a Wonderful Life, say that you did like when I know a lot of you guys were thinking about suicidal thoughts, say you, like myself, say you acted upon the suicidal thoughts and you were shown, like in the movie, George Bailey was shown what happened if he didn't exist. You, what happened if you were shown a movie of you after you died, all of the, um, like you were shown a movie of how you are now existing and you were shown a replay of you not existing and how everything would have been different it could radically you just don't know the impact you have on so many people's lives me I, me included it's crazy to think about it's mad the amount of impact not only because you're just a person who gives value but you've learned so much lessons from those dark days to your climb up and we're not finished but i mean from the point i'm talking to you now from your dark days there have been so many lessons that you've learned and so much value that you've offered and so much wisdom and knowledge that you've passed on to your friends and family and all the people around you, even strangers. It goes deeper than that. Even with me, and with you, it goes with strangers. The amount of interactions I've had with strangers and um, that I know, you just don't know. I mean, I can't fathom. And I can't even fathom for me and I can't even fathom for you guys. 
a Connie fan for me, and I know me, right? We all know each other the most, right? So as much as you guys are my friends, I don't knew, know you as much as you know you. I know me a lot, but I can't even fathom if I checked out early the difference, my uh, the impact, the lesson of an impact my, it would have been to other people's lives. The amount of impact you... What I'm trying to say is you're always having impact with so many people around you because we're social creatures. We're constantly socializing. We're constantly out there. We're constantly doing shit in the Matrix. If you checked out early, it would have taken so much... It would have been such a loss to humanity. And I'm not even exaggerating. If I checked out early, it would have been such a... And it's, especially as a light worker that you are that's had to go through so much and transform to a growth journey, you would have, that would have been a tremendous loss of value by you checking out early. And that's what the film was about for me. That's why I cried because, and that's why it's such a powerful movie. Cause you think that's just about George Bailey? When you're watching that, you're thinking, wow, what if I, what if I checked out early? What would life be like if I didn't want to exist? Cause I know you guys have been there and we didn't want to exist. A lot of us didn't want to exist. Like with, our brains were in pain, we was in negative mind states, our fi or, the, or our physical body was corrupted because we were in such, we had cancer, we had serious diseases, we couldn't walk, we couldn't talk, we thought we was going to die, yeah? What if you did die? But no, you chose to fight on, you chose to gain your health back, you chose, in, in my case it wasn't healthy, I chose to become happy and to transform this brain, yeah? To, to go from bitter to people to happy. But if you checked out early, life would have been fucking radically different. And that's the power of movies, and that's the power of It's a Wonderful Life, to remind you that you are a sacred being, and you should be fucking grateful for this life. And to remind yourself that you've come a long way, and thank fuck you didn't check out early, you must keep on going, that's the whole point. You did. You made a choice to keep on going. But imagine if you hadn't. Feel sorry for the people that do check out early. Because people lose out. When you check out early, everybody loses out. There's a lot of value lost there. There's a lot of lives you can impact. By continuing your growth journey, which you're on now and in the future, you're going to impact. I, I can't fathom for me how many lives I'm going to influence. It's not about how many lives, sorry. I don't even mean how many. Like the quality or the transformations you can little nudges or even little nudges you can just send someone help just be a part a little part of sending someone in the right direction giving someone a little piece of knowledge giving someone a little piece of knowledge it's not you're giving them a big thing like you're in therapy it's like oh right you woke them up when you're afraid no no it's just we're part of a team guys we're part of a team each one of us gives a little bit of knowledge to someone else to help them ascend and i'm ascending because i'm learning from you guys i'm learning from the people that woke me up when i started and i'm always learning so we're always ascending each one of us is a part. If you checked out, it means that that little part for them is going to, it's not going to be there. Everyone's a little part of everything for someone. In George Bailey's case, he wasn't just a little part. He literally, um, his brother would have died because he saved his brother from drowning. That was an extreme format. And he's also, he also saved so his brother wouldn't have existed. And it was something else, like massive. But you don't have to have that kind of impact. I've not saved anyone's life like that, as far as I'm aware. But you never know. Because this stuff is complicated when you think about it. Literally, if you checked out when you wanted to check out, you can't fathom the impact and the amount of lives. So you, even if it's just little nudges to loads of people, which is probably what I do, I give little nudges to loads of people, because I have a wide audience. Or you can work with... You just don't know, man. Maybe you have a friend and... They were suicidal, and then you, just by you being there, you kind of snapped them out of it and made them think and become positive, yeah? It's not even about qu a quantity of people's lives you affect, although it kind of is. It's not. It's about quality. And, and it's really complicated, and it's hard to fathom. All I'm saying from this is, man, like, Jesus, life is sacred. Like the movie says, it is a wonderful life. Thank God we fucking haven't checked out early. Do that experiment, though, and try and imagine for your journey. This is a little experiment you can do for fun. And... For seriousness too. Take a moment and think, okay, so if you did check out when you checked out, and then where you are now, think about the lives of the people that you know in your surroundings that you know of, because by the way, there's loads of people that you don't know of that you're impacting all the time just by being you. But think about, just do this as an experiment for fun, and it's just good for self-help, self-improvement. Think of all the people that you, um, if you checked out early, that wouldn't have had that nudge, even if it was little nudges, to help them on their ascension, or big nudges, like literally saving someone's life, like George Bailey did. But think of that, do that experiment, and you can, you can spend, you can even write this down, this is a great experiment to write down, the, the imp kind of impact you could have, you have had, you, you, you have had on someone's life, it's fucking incredible, it's fucking incredible, and I'd love to know, please message me about this, um, because we're all amazing, and it is a wonderful life, and you haven't seen that movie, you are missing out, please watch it if you have seen it, 
go and rewatch it. It's powerful. So that's all the message I want to leave you. And um, just life is sacred. Enjoy it. Um, be grateful. Be happy. And acknowledge how far you fucking come on your journey, man. You come a fucking long way. Uh, have a wonderful Christmas, guys. It's nearly Christmas. And uh, I wish everyone the best for Christmas. Enjoy yourselves. I'm going to get over my emotions and my crying phase. I'll go for a crying phase with the movie, which is good. Uh, purging. Appreciation. Gratitude. Acknowledgement. Um, that I've helped people. And I'm a beautiful soul. We all are beautiful souls. So have a lovely day. And enjoy yourself and Merry Christmas. I can't believe it's nearly here. Peace and love.